Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about different kinds of programming errors. Here is our outline. We will talk about syntax errors, which are related to the syntax or grammar of Java. We will talk about runtime errors, which happen when we are running our program. And we will talk about logical errors, which are errors that are related to the programmer. And finally, we will see some common errors that face developers, all right? Let's start with the syntax errors. Have a look at this code over here. As you can see, public static main. So the return type of the main method is missing, right? So let's suppose that we want to compile this main.java file, okay? We will get an error saying that the return type is required, okay? And also have a look at this string over here. We put this double quote over here, but we did not close the string, all right? So we have another error, which is unclosed string literal. So as you can see, the compiler reports syntax errors. So whenever you make errors that are related to the Java syntax, the compiler will help you. Don't worry. Now let's talk about runtime errors. Have a look at this code over here. The syntax is good. Nothing is wrong, all right? And you are printing one divided by zero. Now let me tell you this. If we divide by zero like this in Java, we will get an error. But this will not be a syntax error. Let me show you. Suppose that we are compiling the program, this will give us no problem. The compilation will be completed. So the main.class file will be generated successfully. And now after that, we want to run the main.class file, right? So when we run the program, we will get an error. And more precisely, this is called an exception. And we will talk about exceptions later on. But what I'm interested in is that we can see over here division by zero. Our program stopped execution because we are trying to divide a number by zero, all right? And as you can see, the compiler does not detect runtime errors because the compilation was successful. And this is why these errors are called runtime errors. They happen during the execution of our program. Now let's see logical errors. These are errors that are related to the programmer. They are not syntax error and they are not runtime errors. These errors happen because the programmer made a mistake. He didn't think well before developing the program, all right? So let's see this example over here. We are printing this string, 10 plus 2 equals, and after that, we are printing 10 divided by 2. So suppose that you compile this file, you will have no problem. And also suppose that you run it, also you will have no problem. But have a look over here. The output of the program is wrong. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. It is not equal to 5. And this is because the programmer made a mistake. He used the division operator and he did not use the addition operator. So as you can see, this is mathematically wrong. So this is a logical error, all right? So in order to avoid logical errors, all you have to do is to think carefully before developing your program. And don't worry, it is not a hard process. Whenever you see that there is something wrong, you can go back and fix it, okay? Now let's have a look at some common errors that developers do. Have a look at this code over here. Pause the video and take some time in order to find the error. So if you have a closed look, we did not close the body of the main function. So this is a syntax error, okay? And this code over here is the correct code. We should close the body of the main function by using this closing brace. And by the way, don't worry about this because the IDE automatically closes a code block whenever you open a brace. But suppose that you are editing your program and by accident, you remove a brace, okay? So you will get a syntax error that a brace is missing. Let's have a look at another example. See this code over here. Pause the video and try to find the error. So if you have a look over here, we did not terminate the statement with a semicolon. So we are missing semicolons and this is also a syntax error. And this over here is the correct answer. And by the way, whenever you miss a semicolon, we will see a red underline inside the IDE saying that a semicolon is missing. Let's see another example. Look at this code over here. So pause the video and try to find the error. So we saw this before, and basically we are not closing the double quote over here. So missing quotations are also syntax errors. And this is the correct code over here. We should close the double quote. Now one more example, have a look at this code. Pause the video, take a close look and find the error. So this is a little bit tricky, but I hope that you were able to find the errors. So basically, we are misspelling names, and this is a syntax error. Have a look over here. 
The main method has a capital M and this is wrong. Also, string is named with a capital S. So this over here is the correct code, all right? And remember that the compiler will help you whenever you have syntax errors. So don't worry. So this is it. Great job. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.